Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jack here from Jacktastic Tech, and today we're going to be checking out how to set up remote desktop for Windows servers. So, why would you want to set up remote desktop if you have a virtual machine for, say, uh, if you can just go ahead and click and open it? Um, well, the reason being, every time you do it like this, you have to uh, sign in, which can be a pain in the butt. No one wants to have to sign in every time. Oh, what's my password? I have no idea. There we go. See, that can be a pain in the ass. And to have to do that every time is just kind of annoying. And so what we're going to go ahead and do is set up remote desktop so that using either the new Windows remote desktop app or the legacy one, you can easily just access your server nice and fast like this. So let me go ahead and open Remote Desktop. This is the new app from Windows. Uh, and this is to my Plex server. So I just double click it and just like that, it'll sign me into the Plex server. Uh, it also automatically goes full screen and the native resolution of your monitor. Um, I think that I also, I'm not 100% sure, but I think I've noticed that the performance is a bit better when you're doing remote desktop than using the um, like virtual machine itself. I don't know why, it's kind of weird, it's just something I've noticed. So to enable remote desktop all you have to do is go to local server and then in here you'll see remote desktop, all you do is click that, allow, and apply. Now the name of this server, if we go to here and this PC, is VSVR-001. So now if we go ahead and we open up the legacy remote desktop app, we'll put in uh, VSVR-001. Uh, if, you're, if you want to connect from outside of your network, that'll be a tutorial for the next video because you have to open uh, a port on your network. But then we'll just do that, show options. You can go ahead and put in a username. So I'm going to put in administrator uh, and hit connect. And then it's going to ask for the password. You can go ahead and put in the password. Hit remember me. OK. And then it's going to ask you um, if you want to receive this certificate. Um, you can just hit yes, you can hit don't ask me again, and then you'll never be prompted with this again, so hit yes. And then just like that, we are logged in to the virtual machine. Uh, go ahead, hit that, it'll automatically put in the password, and just like that, we're on the desktop. Nice and easy. The performance is nice and silky smooth. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do this through the other remote desktop app for Windows 10. So you can just go ahead, hit add remote desktop, the VSVR001 account administrator, save. And now, if I go ahead and connect to this, it'll also ask, you know, do you want the certificate? Connect, okay. Just like that, we're on the desktop. So it's really straightforward, really easy. Uh, whether or not you wanna use the new or the old remote desktop app, you have the option. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So if you guys like this video, drop a like down below. If you didn't like it, drop a dislike. And if you really did, tell me why in a comment. Tell me what you'd like to see in a future video. And until next time, peace out.